Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing the Tactics Classic Onyx Guard characters being confirmed, new versus tuning update, new re-up rewards tease, and more in Gears 5. The Onyx Guard was an elite special operations unit in the coalition of the ordered government army that operated at the sole discretion of the COG chairman, capable of taking on the most dangerous missions, whether that be fighting on the forefront of the war or sneaking behind enemy lines. With Gears 5 reviving the Onyx Guard elite COG unit as First Minister Jin reinstated the program during the beginning year of the Swarm War, made up of surviving Locust War veterans and the highest decorated new recruits. Not everybody in the Gears community was as excited to see the new versions of the Onyx Guard, missing that nostalgic classic armor that still to this day looks so glorious on the multiplayer battlefield. Hopefully that all changes as TC have just posted the latest This Week in Gears 5 blog post. Firstly, TC have finally announced confirming that the classic Onyx Guards will be added into Gears 5 as part of the weekly story set tomorrow, as the male and female Tactics Onyx Guard duo character skins will be available for 500 iron each, or bundled as a duo for 750. Now make sure to remember they're usually exclusive for iron first and then will be available for coins afterwards. Just in case you were wondering, as I know you guys would love to see a comparison right now, as you can see, luckily in the video right here, the all-new Tactics Onyx Guard is completely different from the modern era variant, bringing that classic Onyx Guard armor back onto the multiplayer battlefield after almost 10 whole years. Marks aren't usually that great, however, I thought I would just give a short mention right now to the all-new Shoot Here mark that is also going live tomorrow in the store. This might actually be a worthy investment for you just because if it can help you out with your solo queue teammates landing more shots, I would say that's big W's all day in the chat right now. The featured section of the store is going to include the standard Gears 5 Onyx Guards returning for 500 iron or 4,000 coins alongside the Onyx Guard Legacy Weapon Skin Set that fits in right in with any of the Onyx Guard variants in the game so far. Now I do believe TC have actually made a huge mistake right here is both the Onyx Guard Kassan and Vermelo characters as well as also the Onyx Guard Legacy skin set are actually permanently available already live in Gears 5 today therefore kind of wasting a week of old content in the store unless somehow magically some TC developers are watching this video and maybe make a last second change. Next up the versus multiplayer tuning is arriving in the full game of Gears 5 tomorrow as well hopefully being the last version of multiplayer of the game to change, so TC can actually focus on a much more important aspects of the game itself. If you guys want to read the full patch notes on everything that is changing in Gears 5's gameplay tomorrow, you can actually find them on the official Gears 5 website. As a quick overview here in the video, there are several changes being made to the base movement, the weapon swap speed to weapons including the following, Lancer, Snub, Talon, Enforcer, Ember, Longshot, Claw, Retro Lancer, Hammer Burst, Markser, Boltok, Torbo and Overkill. I will be live streaming the Gears 5 multiplayer update change tomorrow over my Twitch channel where you guys can join me and experience all of the new changes together in some ranked King of the Hill action. If ring based game modes are your favourites, TC have revealed that Escalation is returning as the new week special event game mode, bringing in massive changes with it that sound very promising to drastically improving the playability, but also the engagement of Escalation gameplay. The changes do include the following. Escalation is set to 4v4. At the start of every round, each team's home ring will start as capped. The elimination of victory condition has been removed. There are no longer a set of lives and instead will have unlimited respawns. The loadout weapon selection screen has been removed, bringing it back to universal. All players will spawn in with a choice of a utility grenade being either a smoke or flash grenade. Respawn timers are now at 12 seconds long and will no longer change between rounds. Weapon trees have been cleaned up and as a result there will no longer be a duplicate weapons on the center line. The weapon upgrade option for secondary weapon spawns have been completely removed. If you guys are or maybe once were Escalation players in Gears 5, please be sure to let me know how the new changes go and if it's an improvement over the previous iteration. Next up, the Predator Hunt Horde Special Event Game Mode will be sticking around for another whole week or so as the new Wakatu boss enemy takes over and makes a huge stand on the island of Bahanu. Lastly, TC finishes it off with the weekly Gears blog post announcing that all future Gears of War news will be arriving exclusively every Monday, as well as most importantly a teaser of the new re-up changes coming very soon by sharing the following. You'll recall before the end of 2020 that we mentioned the changes to re-up will be coming, rest assured they're still coming, and as soon as they're ready we will be updating you on all of the changes to come. 
And that's it for the week's post. Before we sign off, we wanted to give you an update on the status of the WhatsApp post. We're merging this week in Gears and WhatsApp into one main post. So check back every single Monday as we do provide juicy details about the game each week, TC. Of course, you guys can tune in to both the YouTube and Twitch channels on the daily, bringing you guys consistent, regular Gears of War content. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your guys' opinion on the tactics on its guard character skins? And will you guys be trying out the all new versus tuning update tomorrow? For me personally, I think the new tactics on its guards just look amazing. Living up to the classic Onyx Guards that debuted all those years ago, I do think there is a ton of creative opportunities available for TC to dive even deeper into the Onyx Guard ranks, maybe providing even more new Onyx Guard character skins, just based upon a captains, lieutenants, to the squad commanding officer. Just before I end the video right here, I hope you guys are enjoying the variety of Gears of War content as we do get into 2021. There is a lot of Gears videos that I want to make ASAP for you guys. From Gears 5 at gameplay showcases and updates, Gears of War Universal Lore and Origins, custom Gears of War PC content, to eventually discussions and theories for a Gears of War 6. I'm trying my absolute best to keep the Gears of content going, no matter what happens, thriving, living all together, so I hope you guys do recognise that. As your support means literally everything to me and I really do appreciate it. 100,000 YouTube subscribers is on the horizon at some point in the far future I would say. It's just going to be a non-stop grind till we, me and you guys get there together. So there you have it guys, full details on the Tactics Classic Onyx Guard characters being confirmed. New versus tuning update and more in Gears 5. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys for watching and as always I shall see you in the next one.